What's up, buddy? How you been? Hope you've been well. It's been a while. I've been busy. You see that thing? You see that little link there? Superkiller.org? I'm working very hard on this comic book. It's going to be real good. But this news broke. I figured oh, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about the new era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where they are, they, they, have, they don't have no idea what they're doing. Look, they lost Kang. Kang hit his girlfriend. Not good. Uh, all these shows keep coming out. All these movies keep coming out. And they suck. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes the characters. They're not going in. Who's, what's your favorite current Marvel character? The only guy I like is Loki. And last I checked, spoiler alert, he's trapped in like an energy grid, keeping time power. It doesn't even make sense. Point is, one of the shows that was a huge disappointment to me. Okay, he, I actually, people don't believe me. I wanted She-Hulk to be good. I like She-Hulk. I like the character of She-Hulk. Uh, she's strong. She's sexy. She's funny. Okay, it's a great character. And all they had to do, uh, the, the concept of the show is so simple. A courtroom drama, a funny courtroom drama in the Marvel Universe. There's so many great stories you could tell there. What happens when Iron Man, you know, blows up a building? Who's got to pay the insurance company? What happens when, I, I don't know, uh, Thanos comes to town and he steals all the ice cream and all the ice cream comes, whatever. Okay, bad example. I should have came up with examples at a time. Point is, what I wanted was, and for those of you who are Adult Swim fans, I wanted Harvey Birdman in the Marvel Universe. Okay, get all the characters, lots of cameos. How about someone start selling, you know, Hawkeye brand, you know, male enhancement pills. Okay, and you bring in Jeremy Renner for one episode, and he's arguing, and she's saying, well, why do you not want Hawkeye brand and male enhancement pills? It says right on the bottle, shoot straight and true. Shoot as straight as Hawkman, you know? And he goes, no, I don't want to be associated with this product. It's bad for my brand. It's a copyright thing. You know, they got to go to China to hunt down who's manufacturing that. Whatever. There's a lot. See, that was a good idea. I had a good idea there. That's what the show should have been. It should have been lawyer She-Hulk doing lawyer stuff. Instead, it was a bunch of relationship drama, complaining about how hard it is to be a woman, and a bunch of rah-rah feminism. Uh, I could barely make it through that show. Uh, just to remind us real quick uh, of how this show did. These were our premiere numbers for Marvel. Loki, very big with 2.5 million. Falcon Winter Soldier, 1.8. She-Hulk down at 1.5. Not as bad as a Miss Marvel. I don't know how Miss Marvel's... Why do they keep talking about how uh, much they want to promote Miss Marvel? Her show's one of the worst uh, promoted shows or one of the worst viewed shows. It's not as bad as Secret Invasion, which was a complete disaster, but it is basically... The third worst performing show. Uh, not not great. You know, again, it's in line with Hawkeye. It's a little worse than WandaVision. But as far as I understand, the ratings got worse and worse as it went along. A lot of this data is kept secret. But we saw the viewer numbers were not there on Rotten Tomatoes. We can see 32% audience score. This was not a beloved show for a number of reasons, which is why we come to the news. And, you know, hopefully you figured it out from the image. It's right there. Uh, She-Hulk seems to be canceled. We are not going to get a season two. Uh, now, I know some people are going to celebrate this. They're going to say, good. Uh, I, You know, this show deserved to fail. It was terrible. Why did she have that twerking scene with Megan the Stallion? Uh, I'm going to say, honestly, it's disappointing. Because I, I would have liked the writers to hear the feedback. There was some funny parts of the show. The, the, honestly, the good parts of the show was the courtroom stuff. There's a scene in the show where she's facing off against a bunch of magician lawyers. I thought that was clever. All the stuff that sucked was the relationship drama and the going on stupid uh, superhero adventures. If they had completely retooled this show, made it a funny courtroom drama, okay, in the style, and there are their show Night Court, one of the most popular comedies of all time. Just go watch every episode of Night Court and make a She Hulk version of that. Instead of doing that, uh, we're not getting anything. How do we know this? Well, it's actually interesting how this information came out. I don't, I don't get this at all. Apparently, there's a Twitch uh, game show called Code Names, and I'm gonna actually need my headphones so I can even hear what they're saying. 
Okay, so this is some. I know this stuff like happens, and I'm always like, is anyone watching this? Code names live. Do you guys watch this show? I always wonder. I'm like, you know, there's all these guys with code names live. Okay, there's all these like 131 subscribers. How many subscribers do they have on Twitch? Uh, this is what I don't understand: is there's so many big YouTubers. And, you know, we want to be interviewing. We, I would be happy to interview some of these Marvel people and get on my channel where we have... All right, at least over here. No, but this is for the game. This is not the actual channel. Whatever. I don't, I don't actually know what's going on here. Point is, she went on this stupid Twitch game show. Instead of going on a show that anyone maybe has heard of that might have an audience... And I guess they got to the end of it. They played the this little board game with whoever these freaking people are. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, you know, come down on these people. But I never understand how these no name doofuses manage to get like, okay, let's be real. This is a real TV star. How'd they get her on here? Tatiana, what's her name? Tatiana Masan Maslani is here, and here's what she's gonna say. Let's listen in. Congratulations, blue team, on having one. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, you so much. Yeah, thank you. We so won four out of six rounds. Four out of six <laughs> rounds, we took it. I hate Red it. team, the <laughs> speed round. <laughs> this is good. This is what people want. Whatever. I'm sure somebody likes this. I don't. I don't get it. It's always. It's always like a Zoom call, and everyone's talking over each other, and the audio quality is terrible. How does anyone watch this? Her audio quality is terrible. She's again, she has enough money to buy a nice microphone. She's got this crappy headset. Somebody, if you're doing this show, if you're making this show for the internet and you get a big name star ahead of time, send her a blue Yeti. It's a hundred bucks. Send her a nice microphone to make sure her audio doesn't suck. Now I'm just nitpicking. Uh, but again, before we take off, we are going to say goodbye to our friends one more time. Red captain tonight, Tatiana Maslani. Where can yes. people find you? What have you got going on? I've got nothing going on. You can find me on Instagram, not posting. <laughs> you, put, you put up like five stories a day. Sometimes, yeah. But yeah. I've got no job. I've got no job. Get a Say job. That. What? I I've been fishing here. Thought, season two. Yeah. Season two. I mean, season obviously, season 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 two. Two. it keeps no everybody tight lipped, but it, it, should we hope for a season mm. two? I don't uh, think so. I think uh, we uh, blew our budget, and Disney was like, no thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, a couple things to take away here. First, she's not supposed to say that. <laughs> I always love... I mean, but, you know, again, if Disney goes, hey, we don't have a job for you anymore, also, you know, pay attention to your NDA and don't say anything, I'd be like, you know what? If you're not going to give me a job, I'm going to say whatever I want. It's interesting what she says. She says, we blew our budget. That's a big problem. Uh, look, we knew She-Hulk was an expensive show. You have a CG main character. A lot of people complained about the CG. I'm, I'm much more forgiving. I said, you know what? As long as I, as long as I can watch the show, I'm going to forgive the fact that, yes, yeah, She-Hulk maybe looks a little rubbery and the CG is not all the way there, but I can forgive it. Still, that was a big expense. Another big expense, reshoots. Okay, that pilot episode we got was apparently originally supposed to be like episode six. Originally, it just jumps in her... Being a lawyer, uh, instead they decided they wanted to move around all the setup. They added new scenes. They changed things around. Uh, part of why that show just felt like a big mess. That's that finale. I was that finale like something they came up with last minute because that finale was friggin' terrible. So, I mean, I don't know. Look, she seems like a nice lady. Uh, she was not a terrible actress. I think she would be good in other shows, other movies. But She Hulk was clearly. Uh, just not not a winner not a winner i mean let's be real these are the people cheering for she hulk how many how many of these guys are out there because <laughs> guys like me okay and again i wanted to like it that's the worst part but you gotta hire comedy writers guys that's that's what i'm gonna say right now hollywood let's look real quick all right you know what i wasn't gonna do this but we have the she hulk writers room okay you know what you should do with the She-Hulk writer's room? Because they decided to self-insert themselves into the gut dang episode. So, you know who you should see in this writer's room? Oh, my God. It's all women. Lady, lady. Lady, lady, lady. And that, look, lady, with the thing. You got two guys. Now, I know this is a lady-focused show. I get it. 
Okay, you need some women there to write some women jokes. Fine. But I'm going to argue, and I know this sounds sexist, you got to have some male comedy writers in the room. Uh, if, if anything, an equal split. You can have a couple ladies to balance it out. But guys, no comedy beats. Okay? I know some female comedians, and they're great. But at the end of the day, just go to, just go to some good uh stand-ups man go go to some shows in hollywood i don't know why scouts aren't going to these stand-up clubs and being like hey that's a funny guy let's bring him in to punch up the she-hulk script instead of having a million women going what if she got her period what if she what if she said my vagina <laughs> you know that's the old eric cartman routine you gotta you gotta bring guys in to write these shows okay because i'll get i guarantee uh, Harvey Birdman, which I've lost the picture of now. I guarantee Harvey Birdman, you had a lot of guy writers, guys who love these car uh, crime shows and these these court shows and whatever else. That's what makes it work. This didn't work. Uh, whatever, this video is going long. Who cares? It's my channel. I do what I want. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, we're working so hard in this comic book. We broke $80,000 raised on Indiegogo. This comic's going to be uh, phenomenal. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please go to superkiller.org. Uh, there's a link to the campaign. Take a look because uh, we can't make this thing without you guys' help. And uh, every dollar honestly helps because we're going to do more issues. We're going to – I want to do animated. We're going to do an animated series. I don't know how we're going to do it. Can't afford it yet, but we're going to figure it out. She-Hulk, what a disappointment. Could have been such a good show, so much potential. <sighs> oh, well.